YouTube, what's been going on? It's your boy, T, back at it again with another episode of Talking with T. I've been up north, that's why I haven't been able to post as much recently. It's been the 4th of July, just a busy time of year for me. But now, it's time to dive in, talk about this Pistons offseason. I know we've done a lot of talking about the Pistons offseason so far. It's just been, to me, I don't want to get too carried away from myself. I don't want to get too excited but the moves that the Pistons have made have made me very confident that this team can at least make the play-in tournament and I know I've talked about this before and the play-in tournament's not nothing to get excited about but for this Pistons team where we've been at the past five years I would take the play-in tournament every single season just because it's something exciting just because it's something to watch at the end of the year you have something to play for it's so annoying when you're midway through the season the Pistons are tanking for the top pick and we get the fifth pick it's not going to be like that anymore the veterans that we've added are going to be perfect for what this team already is it's going to be perfect for the young guys Tobias Harris is one of the best veteran pieces I think you could add around Cade Cunningham Jaden Ivey Jalen Dern and the young core you already have Tobias Harris yeah you could hear all these negative things about him when he was in Philadelphia people saying he didn't show up in the playoffs he didn't show up he still is averaging 16 points per game as the third or fourth option in Philadelphia. If my third or fourth option is giving me 16, 15 per night, I'll be pumped about that. Now, when he's on our team, he's going to be pretty much the second option to Cade Cunningham. So when Cade Cunningham has got all the pressure on him, teams are giving him the superstardom treatment like they have been the last couple of years. He can dish it out to Tobias Harris, who can either drive or hit a three. That is so key, and that's something the Pistons have not had in – Five, six years, no shooting, no outside shooting besides Cade Cunningham. Cade would be doing the pick and roll. He'd be driving to the paint, and he would dish it out to either Killian Hayes, Bojan Bogdanovic, Alec Burks, and no offense to Bojan Bogdanovic and Alec Burks, but those are veterans. Joe Harris, those are veterans that are your eighth role player on a contender, and you're having them in your starting lineup, and you're relying on them to consistently hit threes. I can't – it wasn't cool. And now Cade's got some actual three-point – threats around him with Tobias Harris and this Mil Malik Beasley he's was on a contender last year he was supposed to help the Bucks go for the championship run last year shoots 41 percent from three with seven threes per game like that is incredible and that is perfect for what this team needs like I've been saying all off season long it's spacing it's shooting and if you can add that this team goes from bottom of the league to at least a playing tournament that's my honest opinion and when Malik Beasley, I don't know if you want to put him in the starting lineup. Honestly, I'm thinking about it. You put Cade, Malik Beasley, Fontecchio, Tobias Harris, and Jalen Duran. You got four shooters out there, one playmaker out there with Cade Cunningham. And then on your bench, you're putting Jaden Ivey. You're putting uh, Isaiah Stewart. You're putting Marcus Sasser. You're not putting as much pressure on these guys to be something, and they're not. And then you add, also added – Tim Hardaway Jr. And you're not done. You, we still got $5 million in cash space. So all these veterans that this Detroit Pistons team added so far has been a really good offseason. Yeah, the money, $26 million a year for Tobias Harris may be a lot, and that's a lot for what other teams would have to pay for him. But we were the worst team in the NBA. So unfortunately, when you're the worst team in the NBA, you're going to have to pay players a premium to want to come here. But to get... Malik Beasley on a one-year, $6 million deal when he could go play for any contender says something. And I really like adding J.B. Bikerstaff. I really like the addition of J.B. Bikerstaff. The culture he built in Cleveland and to have 99 wins over the last two seasons, to have a young core where he can build on the culture with the veterans that he added, like Tobias Harris, like Malik Beasley, like Tim Hardaway Jr., who are perfect veterans. They're not prima donnas, guys that are going to come in here and they're going to help Cade Cunningham. They're going to want to help Cade Cunningham, and they're going to want to help this young core. That's what's been so huge about this offseason. That's why this offseason has been it's almost like a Brad Holmes offseason. I don't want to compare football to basketball, but the way Trajan Langdon has constructed this roster in the short amount of time, he's not being stupid about it. He's not adding Joe Harris. He's not adding Bojan Bogdanovic. He's not adding veterans like that. He's adding key veterans, veterans that can consistently, that are averaging 16, 15 a night. Tim Hardaway Jr. with an increased role here, I could probably see him averaging 16 to 18 points a night off the bench. And you got Marcus Sasser, who I don't want to forget about coming off the bench, who can hit threes. I really really do and like where the Pistons offseason has been I don't think we're done I think we're one shooting guard away from having a complete offseason because I don't we only have one shooting guard right now we have a 
ton of combo guards. I don't know what the shooting guard position is going to be. Is Jaden Ivey going to start? How the starting lineups is going to be? Is it going to be Cade, Ivey, Tobias, or Fontecchio, Tobias, Duran? Or is it going to be Cade, Beasley, Fontecchio, Harris, Duran? Stewart gonna start who knows how the starting lineup is gonna be but you're just that much more talented you're not no longer sending out players like Killian Hayes you're no longer sending out players like <laughs> Malachi Flynn to be your starting point guard for the night like it's just exciting times and on your bench too I don't want to forget about these guys Ron Holland was a key I really think he's gonna be a stud for us in the NBA the kid we got with the fifth pick overall, like it's going to be a good offseason. I think if that kid develops a jump shot, he could be in our starting rotation towards the end of the year. I really, really just enjoy the Pistons offseason so far. I don't think they're done. And if they are done, this team can compete for a playing tournament. You heard it here first. I maybe just talk a little crazy, but that's what I really believe just with the addition of Tobias Harris, Tim Hardaway Jr., and Malik Beasley. And Reciting Simone Fontecchio. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like I said, I've been busy. I've been up north. Busy time of year. I'll be more consistent on YouTube. I'll be see you guys soon. Motor City signing out. Have a great day. Let's keep getting this Pistons team better.